Hey guys, wanted to make a video about conducting your fit. Um, I don't really have a demonstration because everybody's fits are always so different and there isn't a right or wrong answer in the fitting. Um, the best way to really master it is to just fit everything. The more practice you get, the more problems you run into. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys look at every single student's fit assignments so that you can learn from their bodice that they sewed up and what fit issues did they run into and how did they solve it. And that's going to like really quickly add a lot of experience to you and your fitting experience, um, which is how you learn how to fit. It's just experience, experience, experience. Oh, this happened or this happened. And there's so many things that can go wrong. And there's so many reasons why they go, so many different reasons for the same problem. Ah, uh, it's crazy. So um, it's just not as easy, straightforward to teach. It's a lot of critical thinking, a lot of problem solving, and a lot of experience. So you, let's get an experience, right? Let's get started on this. Okay. So by now you should have sewn the front bodice to the back bodice. The darts are sewn closed. Um, and then, I mean, your book kind of has a nice guide to kind of start with a fitting. So what I generally do in a fitting is a couple things. I make sure my fit model's ready. Um, I also like to stand, I don't know, how far am I standing from the fit model? Like, like four feet away from the fit model, I guess, kind of close. But then it's nice if there's a mirror because then you can look at the fit model in the mirror and then that's actually an eight foot perspective, right? Because it's double far away in the mirror. So it's nice to kind of look both far away and up close. It's two totally different perspectives. And, you know, so it's good to do that if you have access to a mirror to do that. Um, and the things I look for in a fitting is I want to make sure the garment's on right. Is the shoulder seam in the right spot, side seam, all of that. Um, and then, um, and then you can either look for design things like I like this design or go straight to the fit. So when I look for the fit, I look for pull lines or drag lines. So pull, it's like too tight. And what's cool about that is it has little lines like fold lines pulling and those fold lines, they're giving you the answer. They're pointing to the problem. And so if it's too tight, I'm going to get my scissors. I am. It's my fit sample. And I'm going to snip it just a little bit to where those folds are pointing. And I'll see if that little snip, it should open up the garment, right? It's going to make a hole, just a snip. I'm not cutting a circle. I'm just snipping it. And then a hole naturally opens up. Is that enough space for those fold lines to relax and go away? And if it is, I get my measuring tape and I measure that. Okay, I need to add half an inch right there. If it's not, I snip again a little bit more. Uh, hopefully, I don't snip too much. Ah, I mean, I guess I tape it back together. I don't know. But anyways, you want to measure. Okay, I need to add this much more. Um, so here's a, like a little illustration in your book um, where, look, she's got her pole lines. Guess where they're pointing at? In this case, they're pointing at her best point. So she's like, you need to spread this open, slash and spread it open. So if I were to cut it, you can see. Yeah, look, if you were to cut right on the best point, it looks like, oh, it's about half an inch open. So you'd add half an inch there. And then I just make it to zero at the seam. So I would just like open it half an inch and then just get my ruler and add zero and, and just like get your dart leg to the point. To zero. I don't know if that makes much sense. I think it'll come as you kind of try it. If it's really baggy, you see drag lines, like a happy face kind of, um, then it's too big. And you just find a side seam or a dart and kind of pinch it together, um, pin it together, just kind of pull it where it's straight and then chalk it in, get a marker, draw where the sew line should be. And then you can take it off later and measure how much extra that was. And you can decide where you want to take it out. If you want to take it out in the seam you pinned it on or a different seam nearby, um, either one will work. But I think the overall concept is looking at poles because it's too tight or drag lines, like drapes and stuff, because it's too big. Okay, so I think your book is like, again, does a pretty good job. I don't really care about the asymmetrical model. Seriously, this is too much. Uh, this is too much. No, 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 we don't care. Um, What is this? 
I don't, I think this is too much for what we're doing. Okay, so here we go. Look at the neckline. Is it too loose? Can you like fold the fabric? Again, this is a tool, this bodice. This is not a cute dress we're gonna go wear later tonight. This is something we're trying to like get the size and shape of our customer. So we want it to be, I don't know if snug's the right word, but we want it to fit. Ah! So if it's like really baggy, that's too loose. So pinch it, pin it, mark what you're pinning. You're gonna have to take that out um, in your pattern. If you see some pole lines here, like pulling too tight, I would go in and cut it and just see how much it opens until it lays really flat. And you know how much to add. Look at the armhole again. Um, do we have some pole lines or yeah, drag lines? Is it too big? I don't know. Is it not? Is it too tight? So is it gaping? It says, so I mean, you can follow this step by step. They even give you um, suggestions on how to adjust your pattern, which is nice. There's different places where it might be too big. Here they're saying it might be too big over here at the top, here at the bottom. And this, honestly, this one happens the most in my class right here. People are pinching in and then they're like, can I have a dart right here? No, we have to move that somewhere else. So um, what they do, they slash it because it's, and then they um, overlap it. So they kind of move, they basically make this dart um, a little bit bigger. But what they're also doing is changing the angle of your side seam line when they do that as well by kind of doing that slash and spread to figure it out. So try to follow the instructions and hopefully it starts to make sense. I'm here if you need me. Take a video of yourself doing it and show me. Sometimes that's really helpful for me to figure out what the heck's going on. Here's another big issue, just the armhole shape. What do we do? Um, you can either just drop it. This is nice too. You can get a Sharpie if it's up too high. Just draw the shape that you want or if it's a funky shape or anything, just draw exactly what you want. And then you have your sew line right there, ready to go. Um, again, if it's too big, you'll pin it and figure it out. Maybe you take the fit out of the side seam, shoulder seam, we don't really know. Um, and then this is also really why I don't like seam allowance added at the armhole because it's distracting, then it's gonna kind of stick off a little bit if you're not actually sewing it to a sleeve. Um, so in my other video or in you know in the instructions, you'll see I say like, eh, only add seam allowance really on the seams that you're gonna sew shut. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, I'm excited to see what's happening to you guys. I'm really sad I don't get to watch it like in, in the classroom and be there. Um, if you're an overachiever, feel free to record it and share it with me. Um, but at the same time, you'll be taking photos and this is good experience for you because most designers um, work with factories that aren't in the same state slash country as them. So they have to communicate these fit comments to someone overseas who maybe doesn't speak English. I don't know. So this is good practice that you have to communicate these fit comments to me, even though I'm not there. So yeah, it sucks we're not in the classroom, but let's chalk it up to additional awesome experience, real world experience, I guess, because this is what you do in the real world. You would document your fit and take all these photos and communicate your fit comments. So um, yeah, so let me know how it goes. Um, I'm excited to see how it goes. All right, I'm going to try to turn off this video. It might get a little awkward at the end. Here we go. Bye.